Hey, this is Daniel. Thanks for stopping by. So as a video title said, I'm going to show you why your past dieting attempts all failed and why if you don't fix one thing, anything you try in the future will fail as well. And I can say this because I was in a position that you are where every year I was trying to lose weight and I would lose 10, 15, 20 pounds. Then I would stop whatever I was doing because I could not stand it anymore. I could not stand eating low calorie, being hungry all the time, craving food all the time. So I would stop. Or if I went to the gym, I would do five, six, eight weeks really intensive. And then I couldn't do it anymore. And I'd stop going to the gym. And then the weight would come back off. Now, last year, I discovered something. Well, I did not make the discovery. I learned the problem. And I'm here today to share this problem with you. Again, if you don't fix this, there's nothing you can do in the future that will help you to lose weight and keep it off. So with that said, I'm going to start by just showing you what I ate last year in both to lose weight and to maintain my weight. And it did not work. And let me know if this sounds anything familiar to what you're going through. So this is a website called Chronometer at chronometer.com. It's a free website, and it's a website where you can put in the food you eat, and it tells you the information, what's on the food label, and what the food made of, you know, in terms of sugar, fat, protein, vitamins, minerals, and all that. And when you put in all the food you ate in one day, you'll get the uh, calorie consumed, what you've burned, and how you know, below or over your calorie limit you are. And then you'll have your vitamins, your minerals in general, which is the calories, the carbs, the lipids, which are fat, and the protein. So I ate the way my doctor told me, and I was gaining weight every single month. The only way I could lose weight by eating the way my doctor was telling me, by what I was being told by dietitians, was to eat a lot less of it. So I cut my calories way down and the weight slowly came off. But while it came off, I was hungry, I was craving food, and I was miserable. I was gurgling all day long, I was starving, but at least I was losing weight and I thought it was working. But as soon as I stopped lowering calories and eating the same way I was, the weight came back up. So here's a typical day for me last year, not trying to lose weight. And I was eating this way and I was gaining weight. And here's three meals, a couple of snacks, the way I was told to eat. And you'll see there's nothing in there that's high fat. There's nothing in there that's bad for me. So a typical day was a bagel in the morning with a banana. Uh, maybe I'd put some margarine on the bagel. So very simple with a black coffee. That was my breakfast. I'd have a granola bar around 10 o'clock, a couple hours later because I was, like I said, starving all day long. So a little granola bar to help me out. Again, low fat. Then for lunch, uh, something like a three cheese a ziti marinara and a slice of um, multigrain bread from Weight Watchers. So to recap, bagel in the morning, a um, ziti with a slice of Weight Watchers bread for lunch, drinking water, drinking tea, so no calories there. A little yogurt, a little container of yogurt, six ounce for uh, afternoon break. And this again was low fat. Then for dinner, uh, a five ounce piece of salmon with half a cup of uh, long grain brown rice for dinner. Now the total calories for that is about 1,320. And my metabolism is, you know, lower because I don't work out that much and I'm a little older. So I was still 300 calories, you know, under my limit and I was gaining weight. I was hungry and I was miserable. And if you look at everything in the vitamins, it's pretty good. My minerals, pretty good. A lot of green. I'm getting all the protein I need. I'm not going over my fat. But here is the issue. The carbs count. 171 grams of net carbs 
almost 200 grams of carbs. Now, if you Google the definition of carbohydrates, you'll see that it's a sugar, a starch, or fiber. So that's how you get the net carbs, is carbs is sugar minus the fiber, you get your net carbs. So carbs are sugars. They're broken down into the body as glucose, and that's what feeds your body. Everybody says you need glucose to run your body. I agree 100%, but do I need 171 grams of carbs per day? And that's where the lie is. You don't need 171 grams of carbs. You need about 50. 50 grams of carbs is what you should be running at, not 171. You're being overdosed on sugar. You're being overdosed on carbs. Now, 171 carbs is way too many carbs. It's sugar. Your body does not burn that much in a day. And what it does with the excess, it stores it as fat. Now, everybody's trashing the keto diet, the Atkin diets, the carnivore diets, the diets that go low carb. But guess what? They all work. They're all fantastic for weight loss. And that's what I did. I went low carb last year. And in a year, I've lost 50 pounds without craving food, without hunger, without any health issues. I've lost all the weight. Now I'm eating about 50 grams of carbs per day max, and I have not regained a single pound. I have all the choices I want where I can have fruit. I can have all the vegetables I can eat. I can even have uh, some treat once in a while because I'm not overdosing on carbs. So unless you manage your carbs, you will never lose the weight and keep it off. You might lower the carbs enough to lose a few pounds, but they will come back. You, you're staying addicted to sugar, it will come back. Right now, if I never have a piece of bread in my life, I don't care. Last year, I would have freaked out if you say you have to give up the, the carbs, have to give up the pizza and the bread. I was addicted, and to me, not having it ever again was freaking me out. Now, I couldn't care less because I know I can eat vegetables, fruits, meat, fish, cheese, whatever, whatever I want. And there are so many great foods now that are low carb, that are considered treats, ice cream, candy bars, granola bars, um, pasta, all kinds of things that are low carb that you can eat that will not raise your blood sugar, that will not get you back addicted to sugar. So if you want to lose weight, I don't care what method you use, just cut the carbs and you'll reach your goals. Get un unaddicted to sugar. So that's my message today. Hope you have a great holiday season and a great 2020 and that you realize your goals. Thanks for watching.